Hello friends, welcome to Achievers Tutorials. Today we will be doing topic electromagnetism, electromagnets, motors. Basically, we will cover the electromagnetic effect. That means magnetic effect of electric current. As we know, magnetism is produced when electricity is passed through a wire. This was observed long back by Oersted. What he observed when he passed electricity by chance when he uh, put some uh, magnetic particles like iron particles they started dancing then what he did was he placed an emitter as soon as he placed an emitter he saw there was a deflection okay sorry when he placed a magnetometer magnetic compass there was a deflection when he changed reversed the sign reversed the current the magnetic deflection was in opposite direction that clearly showed that whenever electric current was passed through a wire, magnetism was generated. This is called electromagnetism or you magnetize a wire passing an electricity. Now what is the direction? Let us see the direction first and then we go to the rule part. So we will take right hand curl rule. What is this curl rule? If I imagine a wire to be held in my right hand with fingers curled around the wire and this thumb is outstretched in the direction of current. The current is flowing in this manner. Upar baju. So if the current is flowing in this manner, what is the direction of magnetic field? Curl. This is the direction of magnetic field. So if the current is flowing in upward direction, the magnetic field direction will be like this. If the current is flowing in downward direction, what is the direction of magnetic field? Like this. Please remember this. Right? So this was right hand curl rule and by observation we came to know that whenever electricity is passed through a conductor, a wire, a coil, magnetism is generated. This is magnetic effect of electric current. This is magnetic effect of electric current. Is it okay? Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. If there is a coil, then how to find the direction? The questions which are asked by the examiners give the direction of the magnetic field. How would you give the direction of the magnetic field? If there is a circular coil, I will consider the same rule. Please see. If there is a coil, okay, and the current is flowing in this direction, I say like this, like this or like this, right? So if the coil has a current in anti-clockwise or clockwise sense. What is this? Anti-clockwise or clockwise? Please see. The current is flowing like this. So according to you, what is the direction of the current? Clockwise. So if it is clockwise, aapke side mein kya hai? Thumb hai kya nahi? Do, jo side mein thumb hoga, wo north hoga. So this will be a south pole. Please see here. It is like this. Now. So this is the thumb. This is the north pole. So opposite side wala will be the south pole. Similarly, if the direction of the current is clockwise like this, please see, the direction of the current is like this, towards thumb is the north, so upar baju will be south pole. You will not forget this because whenever there is a coil also, we will note the direction north pole, south pole in this manner. So whenever current is passed through a coil, what is generated? Magnetism is generated. Through a circular coil, could you find the direction of the magnetism? Yes, north pole, south pole. So this right hand thumb will help you a lot. If it is a solenoid, what is a solenoid? There are so many coil turns. Can you see this? This is a solenoid. An infinitely long conductor in terms of a coil. This will behave as a north-south magnet, a bar magnet, ideally. If you have gone for application like CT scanning, MRI, you enter into a chamber which has to be magnetized, a coil is there and you are sent inside the coil because that's called magnetic resonance, MRI. So this is what is done. If you please see the direction of the coil, please see the current is flowing how? Like this. Can you see the current flowing in this direction? So how to show it? Abhi ye andar baju ja hai current. Can you see? The current is flowing inside. Like this. 
So if the current is flowing inside, I curl the finger like this. The thumb is showing me the north. The north will be here and the south will be here. And this will behave as a bar magnet. Now we have to find the second thing is to show the direction of magnetic force lines your magnetic flux as we all know from north pole if you have drawn the north south pole direction of the lines you remember the lines of force start from a north pole and end into a south pole right you draw the magnetic lines of force like this beginning from a north pole and ending into a south pole terminating into a south pole originating from a north pole like this right so here also this is north so direction of magnetic lines of force will be how like this yes or no this way this will be asked to you show the direction of magnetic field lines this is the direction of magnetic field lines entering into the south pole so if you know this right hand curl rule it will save you so whenever you curl your right hand ka fingers the outstretched thumb will show you the direction of magnetic field please remember this thumb will be the north always is it correct now you already know a, no, a horseshoe magnet what is the horseshoe magnet permanent magnet may horseshoe magnet it is made in this manner why it is made in this manner suppose this is north and this is south why it is made in this manner it is made in this manner so that there is a space in between where you can keep the conductor like motor which we will be doing in some, in some time so this is a horseshoe magnet north south again the field lines will arise from a north pole and go to the south pole so from north to south please remember north to south when we take fleming's rule we consider this north to south is it clear now let us see ye jo electromagnetic effect liya humne magnetism ka magnetic effect of electro current how can you increase magnetism same the number of turns you can increase that will increase the magnetism you can increase what the current through the circuit if you increase the current the magnetism will increase these are the two special factors by which you can increase the magnetism now if you talk about the electromagnets what are electromagnets they are magnets which when you want will be a magnet and when you don't want they will not be a magnet for example when you pass the electric current it will become a magnet when you don't pass the electric current it will not be a magnet for example just imagine a crane which is electromagnetized or magnetic effect wahan par chal raha hai so there is a iron scrap here jahan par aap hath lagaoge to blood aayega so what you do you bring that crane you start electric current that part will be magnetized it will attract all the iron scrap and then you can move the lever and take the scrap to a junkyard to a scrap yard yes or no so electromagnet similarly you if you remember the bugler alarm or alarm or bell you have seen the circuit in earlier standards also how would you do that bell ka thing there is a hammer there is a gong as soon as you pass the current what will happen the hammer will be attracted the coil will be attracted coil attracts the hammer if you see properly there is a gong here correct and there is an electromagnetic section here as soon as you magnetize this this part will be attracted here so here the gong will the hammer will go and strike the gong and the bell will ring it is a sonar substance so this is the way what happens is you magnetize the circuit and use as a electric bell when you press the button the part is electro uh, the, the part is a magnet and then it will stick to the gong and the hammer will strike the gong and the bell will ring same is a relay switch what is a relay basically you have seen the relay races there is a mashal lamp and you go on transferring that lamp so basically here also you transfer the energy from one part to another same will happen here as soon as you have done with the thing you will transfer this example is the reed switch if you have gone through the airports and you uh, go go towards the scanning section and then you pass 
a gate, a door, and then bell will ring, to to beep will ring. Same happens in the malls and all when you enter the security chamber. That's a read switch. So what happens? The same magnetic effect of electric current is followed here in read switch. It's basically a relay. Relay means passing over the energy from one section to another. So as soon as you leave that section, it is electro. Uh, that becomes a magnet, electromagnet, and the application will be taken care of. Is it okay? So let's start with the quick revision of electromagnet. What is a magnet? Here the magnet is not a permanent magnet. Whenever you pass the electric current through the device, it becomes magnetized. It becomes magnetized. So this is electromagnet. What is that direction? You take right hand, you curl the fingers around in the direction of the current. If it is a coil, curl it right this in the direction of current. If it is a straight conductor, you curl in taking in, uh, yeah, the conductor in your hand towards the current. The thumb will show you the direction of current and the curl fingers will show you the direction of magnetic field. But if it is a coil, you go other way around. The curl finger will show you the direction of current and the thumb will show you the north. Automatically the other side will be a south. Is it okay? So uh, I have explained you the magnet and electromagnetic part. So we continue with motors in the next section. Thank you.